What's up guys, welcome back once again to Dowsit Reviews Tech. Today I'm checking out a new cooler from Be Quiet. It hasn't been out a little bit of time, it's just taken me a while to get around to this. This is the Pure Rock Pro 3, um, also available in a few other options. I think they do an LX as well, which has RGB and stuff like that on it. Um, but this is the uh, sort of standard one, Pro, the Pro 3, um, which is a dual fan, um, dual tower cooler. A new one from Be Quiet. So what we're going to do is unbox this, show you what you get in it, and uh, we'll uh, smash it into a system and uh, see how well it performs. So as I said at the start, this is the Pure Rock Pro 3 from Be Quiet. It's a 250 watt TDP cooler, so it should be good for a lot of CPUs. And today I think I'll be using it on a 5900X, which obviously isn't the most demanding these days, but still um, does pack some heat. So what we'll do is quickly go through the um, specs and everything on it, uh, on, the, on, the on the box, so you can see what you get um, and that kind of thing. Um, and then we shall basically go from there and we'll, uh, we'll get it plugged in, get it, show you what it looks like and everything like that. So your dimensions, if you need to know these, know these for your case, you've got 139 by 124 by 155, so it's 155 mil tall. Um, weight, you don't really need to know that. In terms of socket compatibility, we've got Intel 1851, 1700, 1200, 1150, 1151, 1155, and AMD is for AM5 and AM4. Maximum power capacity is 250 watts, as I mentioned before. Noise level should be 14 at 50%, 26.5 at 75%, and 34.8 at 100%. And the number of heat pipes is 6 um, six six mil pipes, um, so plenty of cool in there. Uh, fans are 120 mil fans by 25 mil, and they run at 2,000 RPM. Um, with an airflow of 59.6, with an airflow of 59.6, and an air pressure at 2.41 millimeters H2O, and that is about all you need to know. It's a four-pin PDW on connection, and the lifespan is uh, guaranteed at 80, well not guaranteed, but 80,000 hours lifespan, uh, lifespan uh, on these. So let's basically open it up and see what we get. So as you can see, first of all, we've got the range that you get on there. I think that's the LX one. Uh, it looks like they do a black one, and then obviously this one I've got, which is the silver one, which is gonna be your installation instructions as well, would have thought. And we've got a bag of stuff to install it. It's Intel and AMD are in there as well. And then the box, we get the cooler, and as you can see, it's a, a bit of a beast. And that's all you get in the box, we don't need to show you any more of that. But this is the cooler itself. So as you can see, it's an absolute chonker. It's a, a big boy, um, so it should rival some of the big coolers out of there. You've got the two, um, you've got the two Pure Wings Pro 3 fans on there. Pure, Pure, Pure Wings 320 mil fans on there, one on the front and one just in the middle here. So you've got your fin stack here. Um, not the densest I've seen, um, but obviously it should be decent airflow through there. And on the bottom, obviously you've got your six heat pipes here. And you've also got pre-applied thermal base. I won't take that off just yet because I'll use that. And then obviously you've got your PWM fans, for uh, PWM cables for both fans, um, so you can connect it up and get obviously um, control of those. And the fans are already pre-installed. Probably going to need to take the middle one out by the looks of it to get it installed, uh, which shouldn't be a problem. Um, so what we'll do is we'll get this installed on the system, boot the system up, and then we'll do some testing to see how well it performs. Right, as you can see, we've got it plugged in now, and this is what it looks like. I think you'll agree with me, it looks absolutely fantastic, especially in a completely blacked out build like this. Obviously, there's a little bit of RGB there as well, um, but this is what it looks like. As you can see, um, the fan can be moved up for RAM clearance. I've got particularly tall RAM, it's the T-Force from uh, uh, T-Force Delta RGB um, team group um, DDR3 in this one. Um, so it is quite tall, and you can see I've had to lift the fan up, um, but for smaller RAM, you'll be able to put the fan down. And as you can see, you've got both fans running in there, and even with the silver, it still looks absolutely stunning. Really, really impressed with the looks of this. Obviously, if you want a bit more RGB, you can go for the LX version uh, and get some RGB in there, but this one looks absolutely lovely. Um, so let's get some testing done and see how it performs. Right, so we're just coming up to the end of a 10 minute test on a on Cinebench multi-core, so obviously worst case scenario. Uh, you can see it's still running, it's just about to finish in a couple of minutes, well in a minute or so. And um, we'll just have a quick talk over the um, temperatures here. As you can see, we've got CPU package there at 75 degrees currently, CPU at 63. Um, maximum has been 75 and 64, average of 73 and 63 and the lows were 39 and 34, so that's your idle temperature there. So doing a decent job, it is 20 degrees in here at the moment, 20 degrees C in, in this room, so it is rather warm, and this is a 5900X running at full capacity um, with PBO enabled, so it is doing a decent job. Um, 
and it is uh, for 100% uh, fans um, so I just want to quickly talk about the sound of it as well once we uh, finish talking about this so there's your temperatures there doing a really good job um, not the best I've ever seen um, but not the worst by far um, but like I said it's really high in here at the moment there's no, not much there's no air flowing either because I'm in the garage so there's no access to fresh cool air um, so it is just probably recirculating the air that's in the room but it's still doing a decent job let's quickly go over to the cooler itself it's just stuck behind my monitor at the moment I'm just going to put my microphone up to it this is at 100% fans now I don't have a reader to I don't have a reader to basically show you what the um, decibels are uh, I'm not sure where my reader's gone um, but you can hear that it's very very quiet even at 100 percent so obviously at lower lower speeds it's going to be even quieter but yeah it's absolutely fantastic in terms of being being quiet um so yeah let's go back up top and have a quick talk about this and uh, basically give you my views so there we have the pure rock pro 3 from be quiet and their newest cooler like i say they do other versions of it as well i think they do a black one and then do an lx one which is the one with rgb so if you want the rgb one go for that one it is a little bit more money i'm not sure but i'll put the um prices in the uh, link to the prices and stuff in the description below so you can see sort of how much they are um but yeah doing an absolutely fantastic job uh, of calling this 1500x like i said it isn't the best i've ever seen um, but it's definitely not bad also one thing i didn't mention before when i looked at the uh, fittings for it is it does have the ability to offset straight away so it's going to be better for your am5 cpus and maybe better for intel i'm not sure but the uh, the uh, new am5 cpus have their ccds lower um, they are slightly in the old am4 i believe um so obviously you can move that down and it should give you better cooling capacity compared to the standard fitting um they are set offset on this one at the moment um so you obviously can see what it's doing at that um but yeah doing an absolutely fantastic job it's really really quiet and that's obviously with this, the the panel off as well when you've got the panel on you aren't going to hit you're going to barely hear this it is very very quiet with those pure wings free fans on it doing an absolutely fantastic job so should you buy this yep if you were uh, if it's the price is right for you um then definitely go ahead and buy it it's a lovely looking cooler um i like i really like this sort of completely blank one with no rgb or anything like that on it i really really like it i think it looks absolutely amazing um so yeah if you look in the market for a cooler and this one fits in your price budget then definitely this is uh more than capable of calling or even high-end cpus um so that's it guys um definitely give this a thumbs up and a recommendation um so thanks again to be quiet for sending this over um if you want to know any more about it leave me any comments in the comment section below like i say we'll leave a link in the description for you to have a look at and to look at the specs and everything like that or obviously you can go and uh, see other youtube videos and see how it performs um but yeah I hope this uh, video was uh, insightful and helpful uh, if you are thinking of getting this. Um, so thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.